Tomorrow, 16-year-old Aiden Fucci will learn his punishment for the murder of his schoolmate, 13-year-old Tristan Bailey. But there's still more to come after that. His mom, Crystal Smith, still faces a charge of tampering with evidence. Investigators say she washed his bloody jeans after the killing. And today, the state attorney's office released this 14-minute video showing Fucci and his mom talking about those pants hours after Bailey's murder. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live with that. And Marilyn Smith is not expected to be in court tomorrow for her son's sentencing. Well, Fucci's parents submitted letters to the court. In the letter from his mom, she says that her attorneys recommended that she not be there. After Fucci is sentenced, her case is up for trial next month. Aiden Fucci told his parents they didn't have to worry. Now, ahead of his sentence for the murder of 13-year-old Tristan Bailey, his parents say this tragedy blindsided all of us. Only Fucci's grandmother took the stand. Is that the boy you knew? He's not the boy that I knew. He has a good family. We don't condone what happened. His mother, Crystal Smith, says her deepest regret is not being in court to speak. Her attorney recommended it. She's charged with tampering with evidence in this case. Can we go home and get your clothes? Get your clothes? Get your clothes you wear? Listen close to this exchange and watch his mother's face. You want to pack these up for me? You want to wear You sure it's not on? You see his mother nodding her head yes. On their camera, you can see Fuji wearing pants. And according to Smith's arrest warrant, she went to wash his jeans while he was being questioned by police. The jeans tested positive for blood. That was then, and now he'll be sentenced. And her case is next. And coming up tonight on News for Jax at 6, we'll break down some of the factors that the judge will consider while handing down or coming up with Aiden Fucci's sentence. We also talk about some of the similarities in another high-profile case that rocked the Northeast Florida community. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Marilyn. And tomorrow when the judge hands down the sentence, we will bring that to you live on Channel 4, newsforjax.com and News for Jax Plus. The hearing begins at 9 a.m.